I'm at uh, Sky Meadows State Park near Paris, Virginia. This is one of Virginia State Parks. That's looking to the north towards uh, Ashby Gap in Paris, Virginia. And uh, I'm going to be hiking around the uh, park today. This is the parking lot. There's some historical uh, buildings and things up there. I'll have to come back sometime and uh, check all that out. There's my little red car. And we're going to take off that way towards that white building and do a big loop around the park here and then head up uh, into the uh, mountains and uh, do a little hiking along the Appalachian Trail. Not much, but a little bit. And uh, I think the total uh, mileage today will be uh, around 8 miles. Tenth of a mile into the hike, and here's the first intersection. We're going to turn right here and uh, hike down uh, this Boston Mill Road for a ways. Here's what it looks like here. Back there's the parking lot. I'm uh, one mile into my hike, down to uh, 730 feet elevation, and this is a, uh, the trail's taking me past uh, this nice open area here with this large picnic area. There's a pavilion there. Probably uh, restrooms down there, picnic tables here. Now if you look around, there's a few more picnic tables and grills scattered around. I see some picnic tables up there in that shaded area. Nice stone wall here. There's some of the foothills in the background. Some nice walnut trees right here. And uh, so we're going to continue on this way. One point two miles into my hike, and this is where we take a right turn on the Corporal Morgan Trail, which is that way. Here's the trail I just came down from the picnic area on. That's called James Ball Trail, and uh, right here you make a right-hand turn onto uh, Corporal Morgan. So here we go. One point four miles into the hike, down to seven hundred feet, and we're gonna. This is the intersection with the Hado Trail or Hado Trail. 
So we're going to take a left and head this way. Two point four miles into my hike, back up to eight hundred and ten feet elevation. It's been pretty flat, and uh, this is the intersection with the uh, Boston Mill Road. We're gonna turn left here and follow this down. Uh, maybe you can read the signs there. We're gonna go down and pick up the South Ridge Trail to the left. After coming down the uh, Boston Mill Road for just a tenth of a mile, you reach this uh, marker here, and you, the, the, the green blazing continues that way, but you turn right here, and then you immediately turn left at that sign, that yellow sign down, down here that says South Ridge. Don't go straight down that road. See that sign that says South Ridge? We're going to go this way, and from here we're going to start climbing the, uh, the steeper part of the mountain up to the Appalachian Trail, which is up along the ridge line. Two point seven miles into the hike, I'm up to a nine hundred and ninety feet elevation, and th these are the ruins of the uh, Snowden homestead. I'll uh, let's see the trail. The trail's right there. There's a bench that you can sit on, which is nice because it's fairly steep up to this point. Over over that way is the uh, rest of the park uh, with the entrance and all of that, and. Uh, Here's the, uh, I guess that's the, uh, I guess it's part of the chimney maybe that's still left standing. I'll get a few still picks. Three miles into my hike, I'm up to uh, 1135 on elevation, and here's the uh, South Ridge Trail layer, and here's the overlook. Here's a look to the east. Nice view from here. Four point one miles into my hike, and uh, 
The elevation here is 1540, and I'm up to the intersection with the North Ridge Trail. There's the uh, South Ridge Trail where I just came from. There's the North Ridge uh, Trail heading back down, down the mountain towards the uh, Visitor Center. And uh, we're going to head, take a left and head up this way and continue on up to the uh, ridge line of the mountain here. And uh, there's a sign over there that's telling me it's four tenths of a mile from here up to the uh, ridge line and the Appalachian Trail. Well, I'm done with my climbing, 4.4 miles into my hike. The elevation here is 1,800 feet, and this is the intersection with the Appalachian Trail, or as some people call it, the White Blaze. There's the uh, North Ridge Trail coming up from the uh, Sky Meadows State Park. It's a trail I came up on, and uh, if you head that way on the AT, <clears throat> That's uh, heading south, Manassas Gap Shelter, 7.7 .7 miles, Floyd Wayside, 21 miles, Shenandoah National Park, 21 and a half miles. And then, if, well, we're going to go this way, which is heading north. This way is uh, three miles to uh, Ashby Gap, which is where the AT crosses US 50 near uh, Paris, Virginia. It's 6.6 uh, .6 miles to Rod Hollow Shelter and uh, 32 miles, almost 33 miles to uh, Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. So we're heading north on the AT. Just thought I'd show you what the uh, AT here looks like. Cruising along the uh, ridge line here, just, uh, just west of uh, Sky Meadows State Park. And uh, oh, looks like we're coming up on an open area here. If there's something worth uh, Looking at, I'll get some pictures. Getting ready to head through that gate along the AT. Tall grass. Not much to see right now. Here's some more of the Appalachian Trail. This part here is really wide. It's it's still up on the ridge line it's obviously an old road and uh, that open area back there was basically after I looked at one of my maps I realized that was uh, that was me leaving the state park and crossing a pipeline clearing that's what that open area was so uh, passed a few hikers on the AT already and uh, got a little ways to go before we make a right hand turn to head back down towards the uh, state park Five point two miles into my hike, I've been hiking the AT northbound, gradually dropping elevation. I'm down to uh, fifteen hundred and eighty feet now, and uh, here's where the AT branches off and heads that way to the left. We are going to, and and that takes you down to uh, Ashby Gap and places north. But we're going to go to the right. This is called the Ambassador White House Trail. This is going to gradually take us down the side of the mountain back to the uh, to where I started my hike.
5.7 miles into my hike. I'm down to 1490 elevation. And this is the uh, overlook along the White, White House Trail. That's looking to the east. Down there is uh, Paris, Virginia. The Appalachian Trail takes on that way to the north. It goes down uh, about a mile or so from here. Looking to the east. There's a plaque with the names of some uh, people, including the family name White House. And the trail's named for. I hope you can hear me over the uh, wind. It's pretty high winds up here right now. Back up there's the trail. There's a bench to sit on, picnic table up there. I'm gonna eat my lunch there. Nice cleared area here and uh, stone fence there for some reason. I'll go down there and check that out. Not sure what that's about. And uh, look back around to the east. Six point four miles into the hike. The elevation here is twelve ten, and this is where you run back into the North Ridge Trail. So you take left here and head on down this way until you find the Piedmont Overlook Trail. Okay, less than a tenth of a mile uh, down the uh, trail is the intersection with Piedmont Overlook Trail. So that's to the left. So we're going to go this way, and uh, it's about uh, going this way. It's telling me it's a tenth of a mile up to the overlook, and a seven tenths of a mile loop around back to the visitor center. Well, looky what I found on the trail. Mr. Mr. Snake crawled out here to get some sun. Well, there he goes. Slithering off into the woods. Well, looks like he's crawled up on top of this tree uh, tree trunk. Hmm, maybe he's getting ready to stage an attack. Well, anyway, first snake of the day. The 6.7 miles into my hike. The elevation here is 1,290 feet. And this is the uh, Piedmont Overlook. It's a similar view to the one higher up, except this one's lower down.
This is a map of uh, today's hike. Uh, it's two maps pasted together. The lower section of the map is Upperville, 1970. That covers from there up to uh, here. And then from here up is covered by quadrangle name Ashby Gap, 1970. This is US 17 right here, which runs up and intersects with US 50 right here. This is uh, Paris, Virginia, and heading this way takes you through Ashby Gap and on up to uh, Winchester, Virginia. I came in on I-66 and headed uh, north on 17 to here, and then you turn left and you come into uh, Sky Meadow State Park. When you get to about here, you have to pay an entrance fee. Uh, it's four dollars during the week and five dollars on the weekend and I believe there's additional fees if you're going to camp. Anyway, you come on in, follow the main road up to right here where you park and then none of the map, well hardly any of the hardly any of the trails that are in in this state park are actually shown on this uh, topographical map so I just roughed in the approximate locations of the trails. So you leave the uh, you leave the parking lot and you head up towards the uh, this white building that uh, is the uh, office for the park and then you make you bear to the right and you make this big loop around uh, this is at fairly low elevation around 700 between 7 and 800 feet of elevation the uh, the picnic area is, is in here somewhere okay and went past the picnic area crossed crossed over this road uh, coming in and then continued on around this loop uh, all the way to here. Now once you get to here uh, you, you then begin to start climbing the mountain and this this part of the uh, trail is pretty steep and when you get up to about here, here's the ruins the old uh, stone chimney that I showed you in the video, the ruins of the old uh, Snowden uh, homestead then you continue on up this trail, which is an old road basically. It's fairly steep in some places and you continue on up for a couple more miles until you get to here. Now here's where it runs into the Appalachian Trail. This is the high point of the hike, around 1800 feet elevation. And then here you turn right and head north on the Appalachian Trail. And now, one thing that's a little bit of interest here is you'll notice over here to the west it says Appalachian Trail over here. Uh, they call this the old trail now. Apparently the AT got rerouted for some reason a little bit further to the east. So the actual route of the AT is more like here. Now when you get over, when you get to here, <coughs> you're, uh, you're heading, you're on a downslope basically. Because remember up here is Ashby's Gap. The AT continues on like this downhill until it crosses US 50 right here at Ashby's Gap and then uh, it, it starts to climb the next mountain. But instead, instead of continuing on the AT we veered off here okay, and came on down this way across this open meadow to here and that was the uh, first overlook that I showed you where I ate my lunch. Okay, then you continue on down this way, you cross back over the pipeline right here, back down into the woods, and then over to here, which is the, uh, another overlook, this one was called the Piedmont Overlook, and then continue on back down this way to the parking lot. I think this total loop, uh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't looked at the track on my GPS yet, but it's a little under eight miles. Uh, it's a very nice area. It was a nicer hike actually than I thought it would be. If you've got uh, kids and you don't want to get into uh, this steep part of the, of the climb, this is the steep part right here. And uh, this doing this loop is what adds some mileage uh, and a little bit of difficulty to your hike. If you're parked down here and you've got small kids 
you can you can have a good time hiking in through here and there's more trails in here than what I marked on this map. I only I only uh, pinned in the ones that I hiked on. There's a bunch of trails in all in through here that crisscross back and forth. So if you go to the website for Sky Meadows State Park and download their map, uh, this all these trails around here on the on the eastern side of the park, they're all fairly flat and they're they're wide and they're uh, uh, fam I call it family friendly, meaning it's good if you've got uh, smaller kids and so forth. Now, if you've got uh, you know if you've got adults and you don't mind climbing some elevation, this is uh, this is a nice hike up this way too. Okay, so that's the hike for today.